out this crowd. Ever find out who threw this thing together? I'm looking at him. Hayward? Oh, this can't be good news. Uh, it depends on if you decide to believe him. David just announced that he's got some rare fatal blood disorder. Fatal? Yeah, uh-huh, and he's got six months to live. Well, dead David. Sounds promising. Either Santa came early or he's created this huge hoax. I'm leaning toward option B. Yeah, you and me both. So what is this really about? His desperate attempt to get Amanda's attention? Mm-hmm. Worst part is I think it's working. Yeah, I realized that um, you hated that Marissa married Jr. I, I wasn't keen on it myself. But faking your demise uh, to uh, break them up? He's not faking. Oh! Spoken like a true gold-digging liar you are. Adam. Shut up, Adam. Oh. Uh, he, he's trying to clear his conscience, Adam. Oh, my, my. Listen to you. Defending with such passion the father of your child. I think David's a little more than that. All right. right Amanda? You know what? Can we... I... I... I think, I think maybe you should uh, try to keep your wife on a little shorter leash. She had, does have a tendency to go astray. Uh-oh. I, I got this. I mean, you got it. You're going to wade into the middle of that? Chief of police here. I'm always in the middle of something. Back it up, boy. Uh, I'm going to go and check on Marissa and Crystal. I need a drink. Should I get you one? No. Give me a couple of horse tranquilizers. I think we're going to need them. I know that I complain about David a lot. I know that doesn't mean you want to lose him. It's not just that. It's that I wanted to believe that there was more to him. You know? That underneath all those scars and the constant drama that there was actually a decent man. And... Now I'll never have the chance to find out. That's not true. Marissa, you, you still have David. He's still here. I know six months isn't a long time, but it is something. He doesn't want to spend it with me. No, no, don't say that. Well, why not? He, he just dropped this bomb in the middle of some bizarre cocktail hour. It's pretty clear where I rank on his list of concerns. Well, maybe he didn't know how else to do it. Oh, here's a clue. Not like this. Yeah, I'm supposed to be important to him. You are. Then he should have told me in private and before everyone else. I mean, God, to wait until now? What would you like me to do? Just, just take me upstairs. I need to get out of here. Thank God she has you. She's a mess. I tell you one thing, David better be dying because if he's not, if he did this to somehow to stir things up, then I will do the honors myself. Thanks for your help, Kat. I can take it from here. Are you sure? If things don't go according to plan, you know what to do. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Sorry about the bump on your head. I had to get your attention. What do you think you were going to do? Ride in on your white horse and save the day? Rescue your damsel in distress? One question, Zach. What makes you think Kendall wants to be rescued? You know, she told me about you. About how when things get really tough, you just, you just shut down. You know what? Kendall deserves better. She deserves to be trusted and loved unconditionally. The two things that you can't possibly give her. Just like when you turned up to that boarding house and you looked through that window. You know what you saw? Two people making love. That wasn't Kendall. That was someone that looked like Kendall. And what did you do? You just, you didn't even give her the benefit of the doubt, did you? You walked away. You walked away and you gave up on your wife, the mother of your children, and you did exactly what I thought you would do. Am I boring you? 
Where is she? Oh, now you finally care about her? Where is Kendall? <sighs> She's not waiting for you. With bated breath, that's what you're hoping for. You turned your back on her, Zach. And she's now with me. 